This video demonstrates a virtual display created using a PC-based oscilloscope. A composite video signal from a Raspberry Pi computer is digitized using a 3000 series picoscope and then decoded and displayed in real time using custom software. Here we can see the composite video signal in its digitized form. It's basically a series of lines separated by short synchronization pulses. If we set the scope to trigger on these sync pulses, we can see snapshots of individual rows that comprise a video frame. Each row or line starts with a sine wave called color burst that gives a reference phase for color demodulation, followed by brightness and color information for the line. Highest voltage is used for white and lowest voltage for black. Color information is combined with this luminance signal using a method called quadrature amplitude modulation or QAM in short. With the right algorithms, this digitized data can be decoded back to color values. By capturing several milliseconds of the signal, a whole frame can be extracted and displayed in a window. When this process is repeated fast enough, such a virtual display becomes useful for even interactive applications. Here you can see a sample session where I've connected my Raspberry Pi to Picascope and display the contents of the Pi's composite output using my software on the PC. Because the software sets the initial color conversion parameters based on the first frame captured, they may be off if that frame does not contain black, white and enough color. The Enter key can be used to recalculate these parameters based on the current frame at any time. The program currently cannot perfectly separate the luminance and chrominance information from the digital signal, causing color noise especially in high contrast areas like black and white text. I have therefore implemented a grayscale mode that can be toggled with spacebar as well as motion blur that improves static images while compromising on screen update responsiveness. The use of these modes can be seen here. Details on this project as well as full source code licensed under GPL are available from my website codeandlife.com. Thank you for watching. Please visit codeandlife.com for details and other interesting projects.